Hi everyone, Dave here at Byerly RV in Eureka, Missouri. Today, we're gonna take a look at the brand new 2023 Thor Motor Coach Palazzo 37.4 behind me. But first, I just wanna say thank you very much for watching if you haven't already done so. When you're done watching this video, take a look at the rest of our YouTube channel. We have all kinds of stuff like product videos, instructional videos, things like that. We go live once a month. Um, also, you can check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and now TikTok. Uh, so keep up with all the latest news and things going on here at Byerly RV. So um, also, fair warning, it's windy today. You know, And for those of you that don't know, we have awesome highway frontage, and so sometimes you can hear that too. Uh, so we'll try to stay out of the wind as much as we can. Um, but we got to keep it rolling here, guys. We want to bring you as much material as possible. So with that in mind, let's do that. Now, the plaza that we're going to look at, this is available online, www.byerlyrv.com. Today is May 1st, 2023. Uh, when you look at things like diesel pushers like this, you know, these things can be customizable. You have paint choices, interior choices, and things like that. So this particular one is obviously the way it is here. So when we look at this, it's available to purchase. And the point of this video is for you to, if you want to purchase this, to get a good idea. Um, you can always call 636-938-2000. We'll answer any questions questions for you and uh, schedule a test drive and stuff. So we'll start outside and we'll just kind of go around the outside first and the inside. This is a diesel, so it's gonna take a little longer than normal, guys, but we'll try to work through it. Um, we'll start right up front here. You know, there's all kinds of little things. When it comes, I, I like to talk about the sum of many little things when I talk in my videos and things like that. And Thor Motor Coach does a great job of that. And you can just start by seeing it right here. I've got a docking light right here that actually shines down at night when I'm trying to park. I've got a little spot here where I can literally tie up a dog leash or something okay little things like that um and of course with the diesel we're going to have good storage we'll just kind of move along 22 and a half inch wheels and tires with a very nice solid billet aluminum wheel i say that because there are still there's still stuff out there that has hubcaps in this price range you guys um everything competes with other things in its price range so this is on the freightliner chassis with a 340 horse cummins that's what puts it in the price range that it's at it's not a 450 horse which you pay a lot more money for right um, so it's competing with other things like i say in its price range and anytime you're doing that uh thor motor coach does an excellent job and we'll just kind of see that as we go along this is passed through storage all the way through to the other side you can see it in this storage compartment as well next one is going to be our water tank i have a gravity fill to fill my water tank right here and they put a little piece of plastic there so it's not just hanging out um, Next compartment's batteries, guys. Uh, this is gonna be engine starting battery, excuse me. And then uh, we've got our four, one, two, three, four house batteries right here. So there's, just like your car has a battery to start the engine, so does the motorhome. And just like my little travel trailer has a battery on the front of it to run lights and fans and things like this, well, this one has four because it's a lot bigger, right? Um, this compartment here, we've got things like oh i believe that's our solar charge controller right there and then our inverter is right up here guys so we have a 2000 watt inverter which will let me run just about probably everything but the air you know it's not gonna run an air conditioner but it's gonna run quite a bit um we'll just kind of move along this is going to be a rear radiator which means there's not a whole lot back here you guys nah sorry did not wash this um but hey that's all right um well i can check my oil uh, dipstick here, fill it here, transmission dipstick and fill. I can see my brake fluid, my engine coolant, and there's a spot right here where somebody that can fix it can plug in a computer to find out what's wrong with it, right? Um, there's your 340 horse. Just kind of moving along. And guys, I know I'm skipping some stuff. I mean, I walked past the water here and things like that. We're just gonna keep moving along kind of uh, so that I don't take up too terribly much of your time. Uh, anything that you want more information of, please reach out and contact us. That's just an extra storage compartment, right? Here's our def tank. Uh, this is gonna be our water compartment right here. So uh, I've got my, I can dump my tanks. Um, so what some folks may not realize here is that this right here actually swivels whoop, like that. And I can just run a hose out here real quick if I wanted to do a quick dump. I don't have to open the hatch. I can dump my, or drain my fresh tank from right here. I do have a whole house water filtration system. I see a light right there. <laughs> There's a spot to plug in satellite. I have a sewer tank flush out right here. There's an extra little porthole right here to run like my fresh water hose in. Um, that's gonna plug in right here. And I have a little mini manifold that I can set depending on if I'm dry camping, if I need to fill my tank or what have you. Hot and cold running water right there as well. And my low point drain. So a nice, nice little water closet right there, right? 
And then this is just the other side of our pass-through storage. This side's kind of cool because it's got this double door. So they gave us more room over here. You can see our power cable is nicely stored. And then that just closes like that, very nice. Propane up front, hydraulic reservoir, hydraulic pump. In here is a release, which I've already done, to release the hood. Hood? I guess it's the hood. Uh, the hood to get to the generator, right? Um, this vehicle has a 6,000 watt Onan QD, quiet diesel, all right? So diesel engine, diesel generator, 6,000 watts, enough to run both airs, um, and a humongous fuel tank to draw fuel from, right? All right, you guys. Uh, last but not least, we don't want to forget our little window right here, which is nice for the dog to look out of, as well as the driver can see down here if somebody has pulled up next to us. We also have turn signal activated side view cameras and things like that, as, and of course a rear camera. Uh, let's go take a look at the inside of the 37.4. Guys, I want to start the inside actually in the step well really quick because I want to show you the mudroom. The mudroom, yeah. So Thor Motor Coach for the longest time, whenever they can, has put in what they call the mudroom, which is this little compartment right here, okay, because the reason why we call it the mudroom is I walk in, I can take my muddy shoes off and put them right in there, close that, and I don't have a big pile of shoes. Well, they don't have to be muddy. I can put all my shoes in there. I don't have a pile of shoes here at the front door, which is really, really nice. Um, so we're gonna, we'll do kind of the same thing in here uh, that we did outside. Um, we'll just kind of go room by room. Uh, we'll start up front. Uh, this is a Freightliner chassis, like I mentioned. So we've got things like a fully electronic dashboard here, uh, which is really cool. Um, very customizable. Uh, but yeah, this is all like a screen. Really, really neat. I've got the nice Freightliner smart wheel. This thing, it telescopes and tilts, of course. Your transmission, excuse me, is now over here on the stalk, actually, to go drive and neutral and things like that. Look, it wouldn't let me do that. Smart thing. <laughs> uh, also, so just kind of go over the, the uh, driver's area. The screen here, this is gonna give me, I have a home button here, and I've got my radio, I've got, I, I have not played with this guy, so I don't know what's connected to the night. I see there's nothing connected to that, but that's fine. Um, but this is also gonna be things like my rear cam will come up over here and things, um, and my side view cams and stuff. Um, not right now, but anyway. My dash here, my dash heat. I've got switches here. I can start my generator while I'm driving down the road if I want. I don't have to get up and go to the back. There's dash fans. Uh, Class A's have these fans up here, you guys, so that I can help blow the dash air back to the back or turn them on the windshield and help keep that kind of defogged or defrosted. Uh, the nightshade is down. You can see we have a nightshade down right there. So like we're camping, of course, that would be up while we drive, right? Um, there's storage up here, you know, a little bit here and there. Um, on this side, we've got automatic leveling, mirror controls, there's an emergency start button down there. Um, there's a few other things. Oh goodness, it's hard to read. Uh, and then there's a air, you can lower your, you can release the air out of the suspension uh, if you want to as well. Anyway, um, these are fun to drive, you guys. Uh, it's fun because you are just cruising along, literally riding on bags of air. And it feels like you're riding on bags of air. Uh, it's very, very nice. And uh, with air brakes, it'll stop it too. It's a, you know, if you ever had a gas class A, um, one, th one area that is an area of opportunity for those is in the braking area. <laughs> I mean, you just have to leave yourself extra distance. It's a big, heavy vehicle, right? Well, the air brakes on this will really, uh, really help stop it. Okay, so above me, is a bed, right? So this is not a bunk house floor plan, but I do have an extra bed up here that you really don't even know is here unless you lower it down. Uh, it's got a 500 pound capacity, which means I could put two people up there if I wanted to. Um, nice reclining seats across from our television, which is on a lift. Um, I've got my sound bar up here. That's what I want to see. That way I get my surround sound. I don't need a bunch of speakers all over the place. I just need a nice sound bar. So well done there. The couch will make an extra sleeping area. A um, little bit of storage kind of everywhere. The cabinetry in these is really nice, you guys. Um, these guys do a great job. Um, Anytime you're in a motorhome of this caliber, you're gonna have nice stuff, right? Like the solid surface counter material extends to the table and even extends to your just, you know, little side spots and things like that. Um, this will make a bed as well. So not all diesel pushers have a, I mean, it's really like you just release this and push down and bring 
uh, cushions together. So very, very easy actually to convert this into bed. So this is like really cool because if you don't want to have guests, that's fine. You don't really realize, but there's actually three separate sleeping spots in this living room if you do want to have guests. That's up to you if you tell people that those are sleeping spots or not, right? Um, another TV, because in diesel pushers, we should really have two TVs in the living room all the time. <laughs> uh, I say that, but um, in jest, uh, but the reality is, is that when the slide out's in, you can't see this TV. So, right? So we have another one, right? Everybody's got their definition of roughing it. Um, Fireplace, this is nice. Built-in electric space heater. And if you've got people sleeping here, it's a great nightlight, right? Um, across from our living area, li living room, dining room, kitchen, right? This has, this is nice. Extra counter space, okay, if I need it. And then this is also a drawer, as you can see. I can put stuff underneath there. Um, oops. Uh, storage underneath. Um, nice solid service counters. Like I say, I wish you could feel how heavy this is. This is nice and heavy. Stainless sinks, nice residential faucet. I like my big window right here too. Um, I always like having a big window in the kitchen, right? Extra outlets, boom. We've got a really nice Whirlpool uh, residential size microwave, right? Um, convection. Uh, or excuse me, induction, goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm getting confused. I was looking, I'm like, is this a convection? I can't, let's see, well, convect, yeah, sorry. So forgive me, convection, microwave, oven, induction, convection, induction, <laughs> no propane, <laughs> uh, induction cooktop, which is cool. Um, again, you know, oh look, they put stuff in there. <laughs> you know what? Every time I do one of these, I open the drawer that has the stuff in it. So there you go, guys. <laughs> I feel like I do anyway, right? Nice soft closed doors. Um, here we go pantry, and a little bonus hanging storage, which is kind of cool, right? Um, ooh, a really nice GE residential fridge. Nice. Running off of the inverter right now, because uh, we are not running our generator. So, ice maker. Uh, <laughs> making itself known. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but <laughs> uh, we've got a, a mid bath here. Uh, we'll see back in the bedroom the rest of it, but this is a little stainless sink. I like having my extra space. I have a on demand, as much as I want, water heater. I've got a really nice foot flush commode. Nice big shower with a shower miser. And I'll say it again, one of these days, we'll do a video on a shower miser. But I just keep saying that. And we just keep doing motorhome videos. Uh, but one of these days, for real, I have one myself. Love the shower miser. A shower miser, just really quick, without getting too deep into it, lets you conserve your water and keeps you from getting hit with, it makes a shower where you're conserving water a little more comfortable because it keeps the water warm all the time. Really, really cool. Speaking of really, really cool, uh, this is a reason, this is one of these deals where like, I mean, if you guys, have an older coach and haven't upgraded lately. One of the best reasons to upgrade, in my opinion, is to get something that has one of these tablet controls. The tablet control, I mean, I've got my, my, I can turn all the lights off and on at the same time. I can run my TV lift from right here. I can see from the home screen, I can quickly see my temperatures uh, for my climate control systems front and rear. I can see my tanks. I can see my battery levels. And then I can go into each individual page. Um, this is my power page. I currently see that I need to charge my house battery. I guess my chassis battery looks good. My inverter is enabled. Um, I go into the lighting page. I can go into individual lighting areas and dim them on some of them. They got little arrows that allow me to dim. My climate control gives me, I have a front and rear AC, so I can control those independently right here. Um, and then there's a single furnace for heat. I can open fans, turn on fans, and then I can also run slide outs, awning um, from right here and the front bunk. So it's just cool, you guys. I mean, not, I'm not gonna get deep into this, but when you get into things like your automatic gen start, it used to be really difficult to set automatic gen start. You had to sit with like the instructions, go through all these menus and this and that. This thing just makes it so, so easy. You don't even have to read the directions, right? Which is what we want. Anyway, um, we've got the tilt of view. They call it a tilt of view. We see this a lot, you guys. Um, it gives us more walking space, obviously, in the bedroom, um, but uh, allow it, you have to put it up when you put the slides in. Um, let's just have a little bit of an incline across from our TV. I can obviously just put it down to sleep and stuff. Lots of storage here in the bedroom area, right? We don't want to miss. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, speaking of don't want to miss. Sorry, sorry, backtrack just a tiny bit. We didn't look at this. That's pantry. Very cool, you guys. This is, uh, this is really nice. 
Sorry, this is big. I mean, this is like huge. I missed it. I apologize. Um, and one thing about this is some of the, this, the lines inside the interior are very, very clean, right? Notice there's no handle on these things, so I just kind of like walked right by. Uh, but it's got a little spot though. But hey, very nice, very, very well done, you know? Um, washer dryer, Whirlpool, very nice. Yeah, so a Whirlpool stackable washer dryer. Darn, those are nice. That's a pretty good size washer dryer for a motorhome. Um, this can be hanging storage or adjustable shelves. We got dresser drawers beneath, below, beneath. I don't know what I was trying to say there, sorry. <laughs> we get too deep in these videos and that just is what happens. So uh, our closet, hanging storage. My ladder is here actually to get up in my bunk. And then I have a printout here of component, it's the recreational vehicle data card from Thor Motor Coach with the component serial numbers, which literally gives me the item number, serial number, or model number and serial number of all my appliances. If you have ever tried to get a part from a parts store at an RV dealer for an appliance, what is the first thing they say? We need your model number and serial number, model number and serial number, and then we can talk to you. Okay, well, sometimes you gotta like take things apart. If I wanted to get to the serial number of this air conditioner, I'm gonna have to take these things out and look up in there and know where to look and all that kind of stuff. Well, not if I have this motorhome, I just go back here and I can get it right there. It's really, really easy. Um, that's nice, that's nice for the owner, you know what I mean? Um, and those of us, if we wanna try to get some of our own parts or handle some of this on our own, which a lot of us do, you know, regardless, of, I mean, these things come with warranties, you know, and you can buy extra service contracts and all that stuff, but the reality is at the same time, a lot of us will just fix little things as we go too, right? Um, we don't necessarily want to stop and go into the shop or anything. All right, guys, so this is the 2023 Plazo 37.4, currently available today here at Byerly RV. Um, you can see the current sale price at www.byerlyrv.com because I didn't look at it before I started this. I don't know what it is, <laughs> so I apologize. I'm not making you do that. I just don't know what it is, um, but check it out. Um, that'll also let you know if it's available. I mean, certainly call. I would call before you drive out to see if it's available. We also um, have currently in stock a bunkhouse uh, palazzo, which the video is up uh, already on that. Um, so, and we'll, we'll keep them coming, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't already done so, make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when we put up new videos like this. Also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.